here. What's up, you upside downers? We are so gonna go upside down doing a pike press handstand. So check it out and then we'll go over what it takes to get this awesome move. So there's two ways you could do it. The way I like to do it is I reach my hands out farther away from my feet and I drag my toes and then I go into it like that. And then I pike back down. Whew, that's a workout all right. Or you can start in a full pike with your hands closer to your feet, like this, push. That way actually feels a little bit easier. Okay, so. First things first, you wanna make sure you have a really strong, solid handstand before you even try this. And a straddle press from a stand. So once you have those things strong, then I would move on to the old pikeroo. So, in the beginning, you really just need to think about lean, lean, lean without bending your arms. If you lean and bend your arms, Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's gonna happen, and we don't want that. So, really, really straight arms, and you wanna push your shoulders like this into the ground, like someone is just pulling your arms out, okay? Look at your fingers. You don't wanna stick your head out too far, but you don't want it duck. So right about there and lean, 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 and someone is grabbing your hips and they're pulling them up like that over your head, okay? So I would practice just that part, like, oh my gosh, three or four times a week. Do maybe two sets of 10, because you gotta keep getting that muscle stronger and stronger and stronger. So then you're, you gotta get that butt on top of your hands. And think about your, you're rolling yourself up, vertebrae to vertebrae. So you don't want to rush it and you don't want to arch. You really want to, you know, pretend like someone's just pull, punching you in the gut as you go. So you lean, 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 push. I'm pushing down. I'm leaning forward and pushing and lifting my butt up. Someone's giving me the wedgie. My butt is over my hands. Then the feet come over. Don't let the feet go behind you when you get to the top. Now on the way down, keep your shoulders on top of your hands. Keep looking at the fingers, squeeze your butt. You're gonna lean forward slightly. Lean, 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 not too much. Push down and then the feet go down and you're complete. What you can do to get there, like I said, is just practicing a million, gazillion, trillion times. You can do them against the door if you would like, thinking about getting your butt up to the door. Like there's a little magnet in your, in your bum and there's a magnet there that's going ink and it's sticking to the door. Come on over and check it out. So you want your hands about this far you don't want them too close, because then look it, it's like you can't feel the action, you can't make it up there. So if you move them back, not too far, I'd say like this. What is that, like a foot or something? I don't know, I need my ruler. So push down with your shoulders, lean, 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 and I'm gonna lift my butt to the wall and then I'm gonna roll the rest up. Now when you get up there, Push it out straight so you can get the feeling of those armpits open in your complete handstand. And then you can practice going back down, okay? And one other thing, don't bend your legs. You're gonna want to bend them. You're gonna be going and you're gonna be like, oh, I can't make it, it looks like, oh. Just don't do it. It's, it doesn't look good, no, no frog legs, please. And the last thing you can do to work on this is do it on an elevated surface. So you wanna get something, I don't know, something solid. This is like kind of like a little futon sort of deal. And y'all open it up because this, my 
might be too high, I'd say this is like a good level. So you're gonna stand on it, you're gonna put your hands down, you're gonna lean, and you're gonna try and do it from the surface to give you a little added lift. We all need a little lift in life, okay? Even if you can only get to here, like this, that's good. You wanna do that and work your way, slowly but surely. And remember everyone, this takes time. This trick you need to do just a lot. Be patient with it. As a girl, I must have done, oh my gosh, so many. Like I can't even tell you. Um, and do them on the floor like that too. Just like I said, over and over. And eventually, your shoulders are gonna get strong enough to get you up. And now into the strength. A million handstands. Gotta do those handstands. Get those shoulders, you know, built up. V-ups, because you need to, as you're going up, believe it or not, use all your stomach for, <laughs> the more ab strength you can do, the better. Hollow body holds. Just, you know, hold it. V-ups, okay? Lots of them, because that's working that whole muscle. This is a good one where you just lay like that, down and up, hanging on the bar, V-ups. Anything to get that strong. All your different, you know, planks. So I think that just about covers it. Oh, you all did a fantastic job. And I really wish you luck. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You just gotta keep at it. It's time for the end of the video trick. So I'm gonna do a straddle press handstand from a sit. I have a video on this too, I'll attach it at the bottom if you wanna work on this also. Here we go. Do 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 do. Some pirouettes for ya. Oh, so fun, so fun. You know, being upside down is wonderful. I love it. Alrighty. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. And you can check out my channel for workouts and other tricks if you want. Okay, have a good day. I'll see you around. Bye.